हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एज यूजुअल आई एम अमोगा बंदरकाले इन द टुडेस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ कैस्केड क्लासिफायर व्हिच इज गोइंग टू डिटेक्ट योर फेस ऑन सीवी ऑन पाइथन सो दिस इज अ एंड रिजल्ट सो दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगल व्हिच हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड बाय अ मशीन सेइंग दैट इट इज ऑन फेस इन एन होल इमेज सो कम लेट्स चेक इट आउट हाउ दिस एग्जैक्टली इज गोइंग टू हैपन विद एन ओपन सीवी so these are all the some of our codes you need to just do with in an python in order to have a detection of a face so the very first line is import cv2 it is a open cv package so the next one is import numpy as np we are going to you should install this before using it here comes inside a cv2 we are having a cascade classifier so what is this cascade classifier actually means that you are having a series of classifiers so which which helps in getting our effective results so many classifier is going to give a one decision so your first step is to include this cascade classifier and you are going to pass a default classifier xml file for it so wait to download this xml file here it is so you can just type this or i am going to share this link in our description so inside a github you need to just type a har cascades So in a har cascaders you are going to have a many number of training data sets so this is for eyes so this is for an eye glasses either you can go for accessing a full body detection or it can be an license plate detection it can be an profile face so in this i am interested with taking an front face default you can just right click on this and you can go for an tab so it is going to download so it is an xml file so you need to download this xml file before executing this cascade classifiers so here you can just press on a raw what you are seeing here so just press on a raw just give a time for loading for it so once you are going to press a raw just press a right click and give us save as so you can save this into your pcs i have been already saved to an e drive you can just save to your respective folders so i am skipping this you can do that one to your comfortable folder so once the front face default in an xml is been downloaded into a variable called face_cache face under underscore cache face under into this variable So here you can have two types of an issue one thing is you can take a image or you can take a webcam based streaming of a videos so it is left to the user so you can take an image or an streaming video so here i have been using a streaming video i am taking an input from I'm taking an input from a webcam so if you are giving zero so it is going to take a laptop versions so if you are giving a one then it is going to going for an external cameras then it is going for an external usb cameras so here comes so whenever the frame is available in a webcam please do come inside this loop so we are having two variables ret and img so here i am going to read the captured images cap.read it stands for read the capturing of an images so once the once the color image have been captured it has been stored in a variable called img later we are going to convert this color image into an gray scale image you can just see here rgb to gray and we are using a command called cvt color you should make the c as an caps because it is an inbuilt command which is coming under an cv2 so the gray scale image have been converted into sorry the color image have been converted into an gray scale here and we are going to send this gray scale to this respective function called as an detect multi scale so this is an detection of an image using a paul vilo principle so this is the terms which have been provided as a sizes of a images or a sizes of a faces so it is just a dimensions 1.35 so this detection have been going to this variable called face so this detect multi scale what it is actually is going to do is so here you can just see the full version in this open cv 
basics so here it is going to classify an or it is going to take an har features so here we are having a different har features first one is edge features and next one is a line features and lastly a four rectangle features so how these features are going to be just used for your deductions so coming to this eyes so for detecting a features of a eyes we are going to make use of this line features so after detecting an eyes the next feature is going to be detected by using a nose so this can be done by using this type of a har feature so you can just see here eyes is less brighter than this nose so you can just make this differences here so that is what the har classifier or an har feature is going to be extracted in this version so here the four rectangular features are going to be used for classifying or taking a features from eyes mouse or nose so this is the third four rectangular features which are going to be just extracted so the next one is the edge features if you are having any types of edges like this or a uh, image edges so you are going to extract by these kinds of a features so this is a information which have been available in this respective website you can just go through of it so here we are going to make use of a har features for cascading classifiers so after having a uh, eyes nose and a mouse where this exactly present in this so this is a whole image you can see the uh, curtains you can see other type of walls here so in this whole image you need to detect only a eyes nose and a mouth so this is the thing which have been just given by this respective detect multi scale so after detection is going to be happen we are going to have a for loop for x y w h in face so face is the one which is going to have a dimensions where the face is going to be present in a whole image so what is this x y w h is so w h is width and height x and y is a row and column of a face or a face features where exactly it has been present in an image so after doing this we need to draw a rectangle so we are taking a rectangle function from an cv2 so where we need to draw this rectangle in an image so image is being captured by an webcam image x comma y so image rows and columns so the next one is so these are all the starting points and this is the ending point of a rectangle so consider x axis x axis plus width like this x plus w this is x this is x plus w then coming to an y so y y plus h by joining all these four points we are going to get a rectangle so that is what the theme of this respective line and here is 0 25 and 0 and we are going to determine what is the color of a rectangle so this is r this is g and this is p so we are going to have a red sorry we are going to have a green rectangle as shown in this figure you can just see here green rectangle are being just given so after doing this we are going to locate this face location to an gray scale image so we are going to take an variable called gray we are going to have this x and y so x x is a starting point x plus x w so y and y w y plus y y plus h so having this points we are going to give this to an gray scale region of interest after doing this we are going to pass this image to a color image and we are going to show this image so here this is a name of a dialog box so this is the name of the dialog box what you are seeing here img you can just change it to your anything detected face or anything and what you are feeding here is img the input image in an input image we have been already drawn a rectangle so after doing this so your face is going to be just detected so this one is like weight key so you need to just observe here k should be caps so these are all the inbuilt commands you need to follow this caps very seriously you are waiting for 30 seconds so if you are not having any frames then you are going to break the statement and you are going to release the webcams and you are going to destroy all the windows so the webcam have been released for the other usage so this is all about the explanation you can just see the respective output here so this is the 
PyCharm software I have been using here. So I am going to execute this one. So here I am having a USB camera. So this USB camera is going to detect a face. Okay, I am having a light issues here. Some lighting effects have been on. So let me off this one. So you can just see here, the face is going to be just detected. So the effect was like the lighting. If the light has been coming, then it is becoming too much difficult for this algorithm to detect where the face is. So if I am going to off this one, it is going to tell where exactly the face is going to be present. So in the figure, you can just see, see here, you can just see here, the green color of a rectangle. It is showing that the face have been detected in an image. So, so that's it for this video, guys. About machine learning, deep learning, ARM Cortex M3, both in assembly in <coughs> both in assembly and C languages. If you are interested with these kinds of, if you are interested with these kinds of stuff, please do subscribe. If you feel that this video is helpful for your friends, do share them. Give thumbs up for this video, guys. Comments are welcome. Thanks for watching this video.